you're really into that book, huh? Yeah. So tell me about it. I like science. Well, it's about practical applications of the Human Genome Project. The genomics group developed a plasmid that can generate nested deletion clones. They can provide genotypes and statistical genetics faster. You know, to identify genes that contribute to human diseases. They're mostly multifactorial hereditary diseases, but they can also do linkage analysis of single gene disorders, too. That's cool, huh? Huh. You want a cool cola? Uh, no thanks. Caffeine rots your stomach. Some water? Milk? Fun kid. Yeah, Sullivan says her IQ is 185. No wonder she sounds like a textbook. Uh, more like a whole library. <laughs> Yeah. Margo. Hey. John, how are you feeling? Like someone used me for sushi. <laughs> hey, just an appendix. You won't ever miss it. Yeah, at least you're out of the office. Oh, yeah? Who says? My phone keeps ringing every five minutes. What are you guys doing with, uh, Abby? She seems like a... Like a fun kid. Not real talkative, though. Yeah, she's a bit on the quiet side. Hey, thanks for, uh, cutting your ski trip short. You were right. She was having a lousy time on that field trip. No problem, and we were all skied out anyhow. You got a hold of a dad yet? No, I, I tried him at his office. Twice. We keep missing each other. I'm going to try him at home later. I sure hate for Abby to be left waiting at the airport. Don't you worry. We'll make sure she gets home safe. You're a good man, Mr. Brinks. Star Trek. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Yeah, but aren't jokes supposed to be funny? Is anyone home? Cerise. Somebody want me to call? No. One of your friends is cool. How about one of your teachers? 
Nobody. There's just nobody. What kind of father does something like this to his 15 year old daughter? Hello? Thought you said you were going to call me back. Sorry, I didn't have a minute. What did the police say? It looks like suicide. Yeah, well, they're wrong. The note says something about there being no way out. Any idea what that means? I don't care what the note said. Graham would never kill himself. Look, when we were in college together, he was struck with polio. Faulty vaccine. He fought like a tiger. He never gave up. He just wasn't the type. People change? Yeah, well, not Graham. Suicide would never be an option for him. Besides, he wouldn't do this to Abby. He wouldn't leave her alone. How's she doing? Not great. Does she have any relatives? There's an aunt in California. I'm not exactly sure where. Look, I'm going to speak to my doctor. If I can get out of here tomorrow, I can be there by tomorrow afternoon. John, you just had surgery. I know I just had surgery. But this is an emergency. Abby's my goddaughter. She needs me. Hold on. Why don't we take Abby to New York on the jet? Yeah, you can do that. I can speak to the Swiss authorities. Abby has an American passport. I can expedite the legals from here. Great. I gotta ask you a favor. Graham didn't kill himself. Snoop around a bit. Find out what really happened. John. I'm asking you for a favor here, Largo. Please. All right. We'll look around. Thanks. What's up? I promised John we'd look into her debt suicide. But one of us has to take Abby to New York. Simon can do it. Why me? Because I'm the better investigator. Says who? You wouldn't know a lead if it ran up your pants like. Oh, yeah, just because he used to work for the Central, Central Intelligence. Intelligence. Airheads doesn't Guys, seem to... Somebody has to take it. I'll flip you for it. All right. Call it. Two out of three. Congratulations. You want a trip to New York? Most of our things are still at school, probably. You can take it right back. We'll take another car. Hey, that's my money. Ugh. Investigate. Promise, John. Okay. Yeah. The girl just left with the woman. The two men just went back inside. I think one of them is Largo Winch. I know we have to find the samples. I'll handle it. Okay, here's what I've got on Graham Reese so far. Reese helped start a company named Alzan Pharmaceuticals to develop a new heart drug called Microcerin. Yeah, sure. I, I remember it was in the news, right? Reese developed it with a partner named Otto Kreitzer, a Swiss national. Reese is the science guy, Kreitzer the money guy. They put together a group of investors to underwrite the research. The results of the initial tests are very promising, so they're going to take it public, raise some capital. This uh, Microcerin, what does it do? Dissolves blood clots with no danger of stroke. If you believe their PR, it could be a miracle drug. Don't they have drugs like that? They have drugs that thin the blood and prevent clotting, but nothing that actually breaks up clots. It could be worth billions if it works. Actually, it could be worth billions even if it doesn't work. Michael Saraton's gotten a lot of hot press. With the interest it's generated, the stock issue could pull in a fortune. Capitalist greed is a terrible thing. Lots of money. Could be a motive for murder. Well, there's nothing to say. It wasn't suicide. Except the people that knew him. You live so close to here, I'm surprised you took a room. Yeah, I moved here after my mother died. My dad works like 60 hours a week and he's never home. School's got a great rep. I thought it'd be better for me. This is nice. It sucks. 
I help you? No. So you ever been to New York before? Nope. It's pretty cool. Theaters, museums, restaurants, plays, rock concerts. I hate rock music. Well, there's every kind of shop you can imagine. Do you like shopping? No. Well, there must be something you like. Look, stop trying so hard to be nice. I heard what you said to Largo. You don't even want to be here. Abby, that's not what I meant. That's exactly what you meant. But it's OK. I'm used to it. Nobody likes me here either. I'm just the stupid little nerd that everyone hates. most business partners. He was a good man. And he was a genius. I mean, without him, this company wouldn't exist. Michael Sheridan. Exactly. It was his discovery. I just can't believe he won't be around to see it succeed. When do you go public with the stock offering? Two weeks. Looks like you're gonna be a big hit. Hmm. Five minutes ago, I would have said I was excited, but now. How much of the company does Graham Reese own? Well, he once owned 25%, like me. The other 50 was held by various investors. What do you mean by he once owned? <sighs> when Graham's wife got cancer, it ate up most of their savings. Well, they tried every alternative cure you can imagine. And after she died, over well, the house, his daughter's private school, he drifted deeper into debt. Finally, he just ran out of money. He had to sell his shares in Alzan about six months ago. Of course, they weren't worth much. It was certainly not what we hope when we go public. I just felt really bad for the guy. So who bought the shares? I don't know offhand. I'll certainly try and find out for you. Thanks. I appreciate you seeing us. Of course. I was a great admirer of your father. Oh, uh... Do you mind if we pick up some uh, personal things from Graham Reese's office for Abby? Not at all. I'll have my secretary take you down. Michelle, could you take Mr. Winch and Mr. Overnass to Graham's office? We're looking for something in particular? Nope. How do we know we found it? I don't know. Good. We have a plan. This is weird. What? He's got a surprise birthday party for Abby in two weeks. He's got an appointment, lunch date. Sound like a man planning to commit suicide. Well, what if he was broke? If. Yuck. I want to talk to some of the other people who work here before we go away so we can find out. Oh, yeah. I'll interview uh, Clyde's secretary. I think she was checking me out. Michelle? Well, that was a waste of time. Yeah. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't feel so bad. Hey! Hey! Hey, buddy. What's wrong? My friend just collapsed. Simon! No, no, no. He's going to be all right. But it was close. He had some kind of toxic reaction to something. Uh, they think it was the chocolate bar it was eating. I'll talk to their lab, see what I can find out. Anything new on Graham Reese? Looks like Kreitzer was right about Reese needing money. He was about to lose the house when he started selling off his stock. His daughter's tuition is 40,000 US dollars. Still, there are some things about this that bother me. Her birthday party, the date book. I'll do some more digging. Well, Simon's gonna be here for a while, so I think I'm gonna take another look at the house to see if we missed anything. Georgi, see if you can find out who what. Graham Reese's stock in Alton Pharmaceutical. Abby, I know you're hurting right now. And, uh... Look, I don't need your pity. It's not pity. Then what is it? You know, you keep acting like you care, but you can't wait to get me out of your life. It's not true. You know, I'm smarter than you. And I could see through your games. So why don't you just keep your little psych 101 grief counseling to yourself and leave me alone? All right, you know what? I'm just trying to be nice here. 
Yeah, well, don't bother. Not if it gets in the way of you yelling at me. Look, that's not what I meant. So what I meant was that if you keep shutting people out, pretty soon they don't want to get in. That would happen to you. Go Wench. I'm a friend of Abby's godfather. I'm sorry, my, my son thought that you were a burglar. Greta Moritz, a friend of the family. I have keys to the house, so I thought I'd have to make sure that everything was locked up. It seemed the least I could do. It's oh. terrible. I knew he was worried. I, I just didn't know how much. What was he worried about? Money. He was afraid he might lose the house. He even borrowed some from me. He never gave it back. Poor Abby. What will become of her? She's gone to New York for a while. Her godfather will be looking after her. She's got an aunt. First her mother, then her father. Oh, it doesn't seem fair. Yes. I'm on my way. I have to go. I'll be back to look around. Did you say? Leo? How are you feeling? Let's just say that having my stomach pumped is right up there with death and disco music. You gotta watch what you eat. I never eat chocolate again. I'm worried sick. Yes? I didn't find anything on Greta Moretz, but Leo Moretz. There's something else. He'd been a busy boy. Yeah? What kind of charges? Mostly petty theft. Burglary. He even did some time as a juvenile. I had a feeling it was an acquired boy. There's something even more interesting. Graham Reese made several large withdrawals from his retirement savings account over the past few months. Could be he was paying off debts. I thought of that. His last year was maxed out, but there were no payments there, and he was driving without insurance. He was paying something off. It doesn't show on his records. But where would the money go? A place that doesn't have records. Drugs, women, blackmail? Maybe. You know what they say about us quiet types. If you have energy for that, you can walk. Nice stuff. Mm -hmm. Looks a lot like some things that signs around Reese's house. <laughs> oh! Oh! What's the rush, huh? Why shouldn't I? Because he isn't bad. He's just not, not very clever. And he's been trying so hard. I promise, 
You will not do anything like that ever again. Leo? Now the things you took, you put them back, and you won't take anything else. All right? All right? Thank you, Heaven. Yes, me, they're driving away now. The lady and her son are leaving, too. I already checked the house. They're not there. Well, they must be someplace. We have to find those samples before somebody else does. And the view is incredible. So you just come into his apartment whenever you feel like it? Uh, it's not like that. I want to go back to the gas department. I mean, why can't I visit Uncle John? Because visiting hours are over. We'll go tomorrow, okay? Come and take a look. Sometimes when Largo's out of town, I come up here. It's a good place to think, to feel. I don't want to feel anything. I know. You just want to close everything out. Tell everybody to shut up and go away. Being alone doesn't fix anything. It just makes it worse. We need people around us saying all the wrong things, making us mad. Why? Because we need to know that somebody still cares. I miss you so much. He used to love to dance. But he wasn't any good. It was polio, you know? But he didn't care. He used to put on his favorite Frank Sinatra CDs and dance with me. I wanted to dance with me like he used to. Suicide. He was broke. I just can't believe that. I'm sorry, John. I really am. I'll see you when you get here. Yeah. This jet lag is killing me. I'm really exhausted. Morning. I fell asleep on the couch. I didn't have the heart to wake her. She had a good cry last night. I think she'll pull through. Good. Just I want to talk to So, did you find anything? No surprises. So it was suicide. You're wrong. My father did not commit suicide. Abby. Listen, when my mom died, my father said he'd never leave me. No matter what happened. He promised. Abby. Thank you. Hey, Yogi. Just talked to the hospital in Zurich. They identified with poison Simon. It wasn't the chocolate. Oh? Then what was it? Monoethylacrylate diphosphate. Industrial strength insecticide. The same thing that killed Graham Reese. Interesting. I didn't eat anything at the house. You don't have to. Insecticide can be absorbed through the skin. And he touched something. 
How soon after you left the house did you get sick? A couple hours. Mm, it's too long. It would depend on your metabolism, but it wouldn't take two hours. Well, if it wasn't the house, then the office. There was something sticky on your hand. Oh, from the drawer. He must have poisoned himself at work. Yeah, but this doesn't make sense. If you're going to commit suicide, why take the poison at work and then drive home? Why not just take it at home? <sighs> Unless he didn't take it on purpose. John and Abby were right. It wasn't suicide. Little brat! She locked herself in a room and she wouldn't talk to me. Then, when I'm taking a shower, she disconnected the phones and she jammed a paperclip in the front door lock and I have been stuck in the guest apartment for three hours. So where is she now? Gone. We know she's on the plane. What I want is for you to radio the pilot, tell her not to let her off the plane. Is that... What do you mean you can't? Let me talk to your supervisor. Hey, call the cops in Zurich. She won't land for another couple hours. You know, she was pretty upset about us saying that her father committed suicide. She's probably trying to prove us wrong. Great. Hey, she's just a kid. How much trouble can she get into? Who? And get a spoke. Look, the jet's being refueled. It'll probably be ready to go by the time we get to the airport. What are we waiting for? Come on. No rest for the wicked. These are just photocopies of old magazine articles. Yeah, but if somebody poisoned Reese at his office, it's gonna have something to do with his work. Well, I don't understand most of this stuff. Well, nice to know I'm not the only dumb one around here. Somehow Abby slipped past them at the airport. Damn it. They've got an APB out on her, but somehow I don't think she's going to be that easy to catch. Aha. Uh -huh. This is interesting. What? Graham Reese had an assistant at Alzan named Maurizio Petrelli. He fired him four months ago, accused him of falsifying test results on microceratin. So maybe Maurizio decided to get a little revenge? A neat trick if he did. He died two months ago in Algeria. Suicide. Another one? Life is full of coincidences. Yeah, right. Keep digging into Alzan's records. The answer's gotta be there somewhere. Yeah. All right, guys, we're landing in 15 minutes. What's the plan? Best bet is her house. I'll start there. What about the school? I don't think so. She hates it. Well, if she wants to find out what happened to her dad, she might go to Alzan. That's where we'll start. We'll go to Alzan. Joy, you check out Abby's house. All the test results continue to look great. There's virtually no side effects or complications. Mm -hmm. Well, the IPO goes out a week from Monday. We're sitting on a real gold mine here. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I know it's not all about money. It's about helping people. But the money helps us do the research. Great. Well, I look forward to that. Did I sound upbeat on the phone? Optimistic? I'm about to have a coronary here. Damn it! I searched Reese's office and his house. I don't know where else they could be. What about Winch? Is there any chance he could have taken them when he cleaned out the office? No, I went through his car while they were at the hospital. They weren't there. If those samples show up someplace, we are finished. Get Werner. We gotta go back to that house. And we're gonna tear it apart if we have to. Something dirty going on at Alzheimer's. I haven't been able to find it. Everything seems to be on the up and up. Michael Sarraton had two initial double blind trials, one in London, the other in Paris. 37 subjects in one, 36 in the other. All were positive. You mean 40 and 40? I've got the files right here. No, in the papers from Mrs. office, there was something in one of the medical journals and it said 40 and 40. Why would there be a discrepancy? 
Well, they could disqualify a subject for a number of reasons. It happens in every test. Example? Drug abuse, unrelated trauma, falling outside the test parameters. Happens all the time, lots of things. Are you sure about the numbers? Positive. Alzan told the government 37 and 36. So what happened to the other seven test subjects? I'll see what I can find out. My dad kept everything on his computer. Maybe there's something about what happened on it. Where's the computer? Abby, I'm sorry. Leo took some things. Most of you brought back the, the computer was already sold. Leo stole my dad's computer after he died? No, it is wrong. I, I'm sorry. I need the computer. I'll talk to Leo. I'll ask him who he sold it to. Maybe we can still get it back. We're with Alsan Security. We're looking for some company property that Harris had in his possession. And you are going to break in? Where are the samples? I don't know what you're talking about. They must be here somewhere. There are seven little glass bottles. I know nothing about it, I swear. Here, I think it was a girl. Help! Somebody! Help! got killed because he found out something about the seven missing test subjects? I don't know. Whatever it is, they've murdered two people to keep it quiet. I get the feeling if Abby shows up asking questions, they're not going to be too happy about it. No. Nope. Yes? I just saw Abby. She was running, being chased by three men. I lost her, but I think she's headed for her school. We're on our way. Nice moves. There are these men, and they're after me. 
and I found something in my dad's laptop case. Okay, it's these vials. I think it has something to do with microserotin. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Abby, don't, uh, just calm down. I'm gonna, uh, gonna call the police. Yeah, good idea. Wow, I totaled my cell phone, Abby. Okay, it's your phone. Uh, there's one in the downstairs office. Good, I'll take him to her. Okay. anything happens. Simon was right. There were 40 subjects in each group. The seven I left out are all dead. Told you so. How? All the same thing. Dissecting aneurysms. It looks like microserotin works miraculously in most people, but in some it literally tears the arteries apart. And they're covering it up. They don't want the negative publicity to ruin the value of their shares. Well, they probably figure that the profits will more than offset the lawsuits. I mean, make a couple billion paying off a few millions of bark. Shut them down. Everybody, the FDA, every government you can think of. Get the word out. And Yorgi? Call John. He deserves to know he was right. His friend was an honorable man. Joy! them over here, then I'll let her go. It's okay, Abby. It's gonna be all right. Nice and slow. And nobody gets hurt. You killed my father. You're next, unless I get those samples. Throw them over here, damn it! Bastard! 
Give me an excuse. Get up. Come on. Thanks, Grinsky. I'll pass it on. Listen, guys. Uh, Reese's stock was all bought up by Kreitzer. He bought him out and then killed him. Not a nice partner. What happened to all of Reese's money, anyway? He was investing. I thought he was a big player. When he started losing, uh, he doubled up to the recover. Good news is, two of those high-risk stocks hit, which means Abby's gonna be very rich. A final gift from her father. Sullivan's arrived with Abby's aunt. They'll meet us in the lobby. Well, I'll go get her. I'm ready. Hey, Abby. So, so. I think we'll leave the ladies alone. <laughs> we'll be out there. So, this isn't gonna be corny, is it? No way. Okay. I haven't seen my Aunt Joan in years. Do you like her to remember? Pretty much. It'll be fine. Yeah. Well, we better go. Um, you saved me. No, it's my job. No, I don't just mean at the school. I know. Even after everything I did and everything I said, you still came back for me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> we can keep in touch. Yeah, we can email. You know, when I was a kid, we used to write letters with paper and everything. That's so dated. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Let me take you down. Okay. Not a word. 